It's unbelievable. Really nice fit. It's as if it's supposed to be like that. So the, the first thing I want to do is uh, yeah, clean up this, uh, this cylinder head a bit. So I'm going to use uh, some uh, cold degreaser for that and just clean up that cylinder head. Now another thing uh, that I uh, all of a sudden thought, because I also rinsed uh, the cylinder head after that, um, yeah, the greaser, I rinsed it with water and then I blew it out uh, all the water from all the holes and everything blowing, blowing, blowing. I was thinking, what if there was still a little bit of medium somewhere? What if I didn't blow out all these holes and didn't rinse it enough, which might have been a cause of the seizure? Uh, now I'm sure that all that medium, if there was any, uh, is out. So now I'm going to search in my uh, my private uh, scrapyard for a uh, fur two new valves, and then I'm going to make sure that they will fit um, nicely into these. So this is a uh, cylinder one, and since I will need a new uh, cam as well, camshaft, I will. Uh, yeah, take all the parts from here. Yeah, also use these rockers, so I'm gonna disassemble it and use those. Okay, so I took apart uh, this old cylinder head. Uh, everything looks uh, pretty good. Um, got the different valves here. Uh, and of course uh, the camshaft uh, looks perfectly fine. Um, so I'm gonna completely clean these, make them ready for uh, reinstalling in the cylinder head, what I have. So uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, polish these uh, valves into the new head. Now these valves weren't in the new head, so um, th they don't belong there. Uh, so uh, what you wanna do is that you really want to make them fit because you don't want any leaks. Now, I've got this uh, special uh, polish paste for that. I've got, uh, this is fine and this is a little bit um, yeah, more, uh, more, more, more gross, uh, I don't know what the word is, but um, what I'm first gonna do is uh, polish them in with the more rougher uh, type of polish, and then with the finer type of polish, uh, they should be uh, fitting. And what you wanna do is, um, these are uh, special tools for that, and there's just, uh, yeah, these sucking caps, you put them on the top, and uh, I'm gonna press them in, and then as if I'm making a fire, I'm gonna yeah, make sure that they will fit and I will listen to the sound and the sound will tell me if they are ready uh, because first they will be uh, really uh, yeah, with a high frequency wee -oo -wee -oo -wee. and then after that it will be a really fine sound and then you know okay now they're fitting so that's what I'm gonna do now You can also see if I was uh, everywhere and not completely. I still have to go there a bit. I want to put in some more um, some some more grit and then I'll do that part a little bit more and then I'll continue with the fine.
that's the good sound. That's the sound that I want. Now it's really fine, really clean. And now I'm not sure that they completely had have their uh, the same yeah kind of structures, the same kind of um, edge where they lay in. And I'm going for the fine bit. First, I'm going to blow out all the uh, rough. And now that ring is completely clean and shiny as well, so that's good. Okay, so now for the next uh, pretty exciting part, I think I'm gonna start to uh, put everything together again. So what I will do is install the valves, then I'll put these rockers in, then the shaft, and then after that I'm gonna put those bushings for the rockers. So first let's do the valves. Okay, so now for these uh, for these bushings, uh, first I'm going to polish it a bit, so um, yeah, that these marks are kind of gone, um, and then um, I rather tap them in um, carefully, then press them in with my hydraulic press because um, I I have a better better feeling what I'm doing when I'm tapping them in, I think. Um, and if, I, if I'm gonna use my hydraulic press, then I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna use too much force um, with the chance that, uh, yeah, uh, things will get, will get damaged. Okay, so um, I'm in the middle of uh, putting this uh, rocker arm bushing uh, into the cylinder head. Now I found out that these two are not similar. They are different because if you look closely, and I hope the camera catches this, these holes are not exactly in the in the same spot as you can see. So there are there is a difference between those, and the fact that I didn't know this, knew this, sorry, the fact that I didn't know this, makes it also really plausible that I have the wrong had the wrong. Uh, bushing pipe thing um, in the wrong end. For everybody who didn't know, the one with the hole all the way to the top is the one for the exhaust port, okay? So this one goes in the rocker arm of the exhaust port. This one is the one for the inlet. This, these are the differences, yes? So remember that because this will let oil through on a different spot than this one. So it could be very well that this is the cause of my camshaft failure. That's it. That's how you do that. So now I guess we're almost at the part that we're uh, going to install new new camshaft and we are going to install this bearing now we're going to undo uh, one side um, of the rubber 
surface. So let's start with that. There is nothing over or out. There. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, let's that make this more complex than it is. Um, double check if this is the right. Yes, this is always marked with the number one. We're working on the rear cylinder, which is the number one cylinder. I know, uh, I feel, I almost feel like I, the front cylinder should be the number one cylinder, but they call it uh, like this. So let's accept that. Make sure there's plenty of oil there. Also some here. Why not? Well, I have too much oil there then. Not enough. We've been through the whole circus. What a non-lubricated camshaft will do. There. Like that. And now this put on this one, the bearing. Didn't fit if camshaft went in. Yeah. There you go. Nice, a real, real nice fit. It's unbelievable. Really nice fit. It's as if it's supposed to be like that. Hope you can see. As if it's supposed to be like that. And now we have the um, the lock nut, which keeps everything in place. We're gonna use that as well. Maybe it presses it a little bit further. Which I, yeah, there you go. You just go all the way to the back. It just really sits there as if it's supposed to be like that. There. There you go. Really nice. Really happy with that. Now let's adjust the rockers while we're here anyway. There. And that's that. Uh, and now there's another thing, because I want to have that bearing installed in the front cylinder as well. That's logical, I think you might understand that. Now, I've mentioned uh, these guys, and I am wondering, because I never knew that there was a difference between the one and the other. And I just scavenged the best that I had, so I just put in whatever I could find there, which looked like the best, never noting, knowing that these holes make a difference. I wanna check those as well in the front cylinder because better be safe than sorry. So, I'm going to do this cylinder head as well. Gonna take it off and check everything here. Make sure that these are the right way, uh, the right one uh, in the right place. I'm gonna take this top off as well because better be safe than sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna call it a day for today. Um, the, um, yeah, the, 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 the rear cylinder head is on with all the new parts in there. Everything 
completely uh, checked well, oiled well. Uh, it's there how it should be. Um, so it was a really useful day today because I, uh, yeah, that, that, that rocker uh, shaft um, part is really something that made me think because the oil goes in through those um, rocker shafts. So if that shaft is not the right shaft where it should be, then there is a serious problem with the oil um, lines and the oil flood inside that cylinder head. So yeah, that was really interesting. Um, I'm absolutely sure that this cylinder head now is perfectly okay. The next step will be to undo this cylinder head and uh, check of if those rocker uh, rocker shafts are here in the proper way uh, at the right one at uh, the right one at the right place um, and of course I'm going to do the um, the modification with the ball bearing so the ball bearing will be here as well and I just want to check if this camshaft is still okay if it uh, doesn't have any signs of uh, wear or whatever so uh, yeah I'm going to basically do the same procedure as I did with the rear cylinder and um, then those new uh, washers will come in and the new oil um, a union bolt, uh, the lower union bolt. And I'm gonna uh, compare that union bolt with the union bolt that I used in this uh, engine. Uh, if that hole is drilled well and how that dr uh, hole should be drilled. Otherwise I will probably use the old uh, union bolt to drill that one out to four millimeters as they recommend in the forums that I read. Um, well, actually a four millimeter uh, drill should fit in there and I think they go to two and a half millimeters or something. I have to check that, but I have to drill that one uh, to the right size if the, that new union bolt is different, uh, isn't different than this one. Um, so I'm gonna do that modification then as well, probably. So that's it for this week. I thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and put on that notification bell because I'm not really consequent in when I'm uploading videos. So you better put on the notification bell so that you know when I upload my videos. In the description below, you find a lot of different other videos or you can find videos here in the corner. And this is by the way, the subscribe button. So um, yeah, you can uh, see uh, all my other videos that I made uh, way before. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.